know, do you think do you think uh Spence and Bud, you think that 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 happens before uh Spence moves up to 54? I mean, <laughs> I know that's a hard question. Uh, well, let me ask you what, if he wants to be out of the like you said, he'll have to fight Crawford, they'll have to fight each other. So I think that that's the difference. I think that he said he wants to be on the speed of champ. So then that means that he and Bud Crawford will be fighting. I think you know, but uh, you know, I mean, I think that it's, it's a right now it's a dumbass fight because it doesn't make that people want to see it. But if people wanted to see Bud Crawford fight Errol Spence, they would buy Bud Crawford fights when he fought. Hmm. Oh, so you say Bud Bud don't sell? That's what you saying? Like not not. That's, that's not what I said. Oh. Said, what I'm saying is, <laughs> if people wanted to see Errol Spence fight Terence Crawford. They should buy. They should buy his fights when he fights. I mean, there's, there's no way you when you, listen, man. We got promoters and networks. Their business is to make money. That's not it is. Not to please or appease the people. To make money. So what happens is, if they're not jumping out over the fighters for a particular reason, one guy sells, one guy doesn't. That's just the truth. I mean. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not it's true. So if you know, um, the reality of it is, if they wanted to see the fight, they really, really want to see the fight. They would buy the fight from the fight from people. Because every time he fights, I'm sure the promoter loses money. Yeah. Because he has a guaranteed contract with the tennis squad for right. Yeah. And they don't sell tickets. You know, I mean, he's fighting in a small market. So say his purse is $3 million, which it is. Say the person he's fighting against makes a couple hundred thousand, three, whatever it is, right? So, you know, if the money's not coming from the pay-per-view or the, or the television, where's the money coming from? They're not selling tickets for a fight. They're not selling out. Big venues, like, you can't charge what you can charge in Vegas. Right. In, in, in Nebraska. Mm. Yeah. So, where's the money coming? So, money. Can you, hey, hey, um, Kojo, can you ask oh, something? Yeah. You got an undercard. I mean, so yeah, but, so wouldn't, like, but wouldn't that be? I, think that, I mean, um, but wouldn't that be, um, um the biggest fight, though? I don't know fight, but you have. Huh. You see how, how people come to those fights. But wouldn't wouldn't I mean, as far as being like the best you have on the table, you know, like is it? How, how can you can you really like just kind of play around with that fight? Isn't it something you want to take? Like, you know, it's nothing else really like that people really want to see. You know, because him and because him and Danny is not okay. T tell me, man. <laughs> so see, listen, it, it's other it, it, people say they want to see it, but you but can you trust them? Because when he fought somebody else, they didn't show up. Yeah. When he fought a Mid Con, that's the big fight in Boston, bro. Pay per view. When he fought, uh, who did he fight? He fought uh, somebody else. Pay per view, and they didn't show up. So, what are you going to say? So, there's a company say, uh, we know his numbers. Because they know the numbers. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So, what you're talking about is hypothetical, what you want in your heart. But, it, but let me. But it, 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 as far as pay per view these days, man, do you think like because is 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 the model still alive? I, mean, I, I think that uh, I think that it's kind of shifted us somewhat because Floyd kind of and Pacquiao kind of did their thing where they milked it so much, and now it's like Canelo is one who who eclipsed like a million. You know what I'm saying? Like who, who's who's getting close to that those numbers? Like I don't think. I mean, he's well. He's probably one of the only yeah. ones that can. I mean, like, I mean, as far as pop. Like five or six hundred, it's that. Uh huh. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury just did it. Tyson, they, they done eight fifty, but the eight eight fifty, eight fifty k. Well, Earl was a bigger fight in my opinion. I think it do at least a milli. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, eight fifty. Uh, we uh, some somewhere a little under. Uh, a little I, under. But I mean, I I. It's like eight fifty, but the Earl, the Earl and versus Bud Crawford fight is way bigger than in my yeah. Fury versus Wilder, bro. Okay, I get a question. Was yeah, they, he, he just uh, Jaleel, he was telling me that uh, you know uh, as far as the biggest fight in boxing, we you know 
Well, you, you, so yeah, I, I get your point that you, you saying you know it has to something has to build up. I guess is is it that they they need to do better job promoting Crawford is basically your point, right? I mean, you, you, listen, you, why are you asking me the question? Oh. You know the answer, right? <laughs> wait, 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 you want me to say something? That you listen. <laughs> People always say men lie, women lie, numbers don't. That's what they say. I got you. I heard you say that with no. So my question will be to you. So don't ask me the question. Yeah. You know, what what do the numbers say? So don't Derek James say anything. I just ask, what does the numbers say? And it's not about this, man. It's about timing. You can't push something on people that they think they want, but then when every time they get it, they don't come out to support it. Okay. Yeah, yeah I hear you, man. So it's about timing. Whether L gets bigger and 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 and, and Terrence's star stays where it is, right? He's the most accomplished boxer in boxing, hands down. Other than Manny Pacquiao, active fighter, lightweight champ, undisputed, light welterweight champ, WBA welterweight champ. Mm. It's hard to match that. The, the, you know what I'm saying? Other than Manny Pacquiao, he the most Accomplished boxing, boxing. Terrence Crawford is. Mo- you said Terrence Crawford. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. I got you. But, but listen, winning championships obviously doesn't make for. You know what I'm saying because if yeah. it did, it would be different. Yeah. Winning championships are not what. Hmm. I'm just saying because I mean, you know, like, listen, you know, you see it. I mean. You, I mean, you don't, I mean, I would hope you wouldn't be covering box, but I know you're not, and not know the numbers and stats or this and that. So you see it. And he is the most, I, yeah. I think I was popping in and out. He's so, not really that active, but Chance Crawford's active. 